All right, everybody. I just want to say blessed love. Thanks for taking the time once again to tune in. In which this is a very serious episode in which I want to take this time to explain why it is I'm saying this, right? For all the killings and the murders, for whatever reason, for all the kidnappings, the abductions, for all the missing people, for all the dead people they found, and for all the negative which is going on right now, now, for two days now, it has been upon my spirit to really come forward and talk about this. But it's like the second day, and this morning and day before, it's like I, I couldn't get no rest in my spirit because I didn't come forward to do it. In which I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit this morning to bring forth His judgment in which um, it is long overdue for this nation of Trinidad and Tobago it is also due for all the other nations of the world where is um, being tormented and plagued right now with the evils and the wickedness of Britain society which is taking a toll almost in every nation of the world today. In which I want to say this. I start in home in Trinidad and Tobago. I want to say this right now. These people who are killing and raping, murdering, who are abducting children, abducting young females, abducting human lives for the sake of selling organs. We always have a multi-billion dollar business because if one person could be worth millions of dollars as an organs, hearts, kidneys, liver, all these things, when it add up, it will up to some millions of US, all these things. What I want to say is this, all who are part to play within this ring, all those who are supporting the operation and funding the operation financially, right? all those who are part of the operation, operations, all those who were responsible for look at the uh, the police woman the constable was missing the other day prior to that look how much ladies went missing look how much young girls went missing look how many young ladies they find dead look how many young girls they find dead and are finding dead this is not right and seeing that nobody have the power to control this I want to introduce the power that is going to control this in which everyone who's watching this everyone eyes are going to be holy what it is the power of God is going to do as this judgment come forth Remember this word, remember this video, remember it, because the judgment is about to come forth. This is the judgment. By the power of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit, all these people who are responsible for all these abductions and killings and raping and all these things in times past, and the law hasn't found you as yet. To all those who are presently and secretly doing it as well today this is a judgment for you you are in a secret hiding place and you feel all is well you feel all is safe you feel no one is watching you feel no remorse you see nothing wrong with what it is you doing 
and you think everything is okay. Remember those who live that same way and in times past, those who live that same exact way, I want you, wherever you are in your hiding place, con to consider what it is happened to such people who did the same things you do and the law or the families or friends catch up to them. What is this happen to those people? Death, right? I know you don't want to die. This is why you are hiding where you are and doing what it is you are doing and hiding because you know the consequences of what you're doing. You know it is death and the word of God said it is death. So you have every reason to hide. But what I want to say and the judgment I want to bring forth by the power of the Holy Spirit that even in your hiding, the Holy Spirit is going to allow you to come out of your hiding and you are going to turn yourselves in. And everybody who is watching this video and watching you, by the Spirit, they are going to see you turning yourselves in. And I say this because the Holy Spirit say that the guiltiness that is resting upon your conscience, upon your mind, upon your heart, upon your spirit and upon your bodies literally as well too god knows it is heavy right now it is heavy wherever you are in your hiding and you cannot rest there will be food in front of you why you cannot eat it because you cannot you cannot you're not at rest you will never be at peace what you are doing is committing sins in which at the bible totally disregard and hate right you are going to turn yourselves in wherever you are you will cannot sleep no longer you cannot eat no longer and you will not find peace and i'm telling you this because this is what the holy spirit said and you need to turn away from your wicked ways immediately turn away from that lifestyle stop with all these killing stop with all these murdering and with all these kidnappings it is senseless and if it do catch up to you you will have a heavy price to pay for it don't say you haven't been warned this is the judgment written this is the judgment spoken of heard of this is the judgment impressed upon the heart of to say this and let me tell you something it is going to come to pass so for all the other viewers I just decided to go viral with it. Sorry to put this upon you. This has nothing to do with you. I want to say God's blessings upon each one of you, upon everybody. But this is the judgment written of. So, God bless. And God is going to do the things upon the earth as He see fit. For He taught us to pray. Let it be done on earth as it is already in heaven. So, we just making the heavens manifest upon the earth by what it does we speak. So blessed love.